riders and horse lovers glad to have you back on our next video if you'll recall last video we were headed out to kansas to pick up these adorable little weanlands and one cute little yearling filly and we had caught you up we traveled there got there we told you about meeting the stallions that they were out of these beautiful three nice stallions and now we're ready to pick back up on our day two of handling these babies we met them last night we got up early this morning and now we're heading over to the barn good morning hello cutie morning are you excited this is this cold i'm excited this is gonna be a fun day you want to see my camera yeah this is what you got what you got <laughs> time to get busy we had to get these foals um, halter broke leading tying doing all the things that we needed them to do stepping up on stuff doing all the things we needed them to do before we left with them on our trip so we spent some time doing a little desensitizing getting them used to our ropes and again being led remember these babies this is all new to them they had only really been uh, handled for maybe a couple of weeks at this, at this point and not much just a little bit the first little bit and then we've been messing with them this was some day too so they're this is all new to them and they're handling it really really well and I'll give you a little tip on some of our babies we've determined the little Julia baby and the black both the blacks the new one and the, the new one they're pretty laid back and easy going our little yellow horse and our little buckskin filly, they had been, they were a little older and had kind of been doing their own thing for a little bit longer. And so they were a little more skeptical of us, as you'll see in these videos. But you just do what you know to do is the right thing to do. You keep working with them and you leave them wanting more. <laughs> That's the way to leave them right there. So we got a good night's rest. Morning came again early. And we were headed back over to the barn for day three of playing with these babies and getting them ready for this 1200 mile trip home.
right as I was walking up, so they're all doing their own soon. So let's go in here and see. See if she'll let me be in here with her. Now, remember, she doesn't really notice that well. This is just a thing. pays off in the end. We're excited, we're looking forward to it, and we're going to start practicing doing some loading. So she looks like she's getting ready to go, and now the big question is, will we be able to get them on the trailer? We're going to practice on this sheep trailer, or goat trailer, and you'll have to watch the next video to find out how it ends. Thank you for watching. Come back and watch with us again. Hope you have happy trails. Until next time.